Hey everyone and welcome to my April most anticipated releases video. We're now at the beginning of April so it's time to talk about some of the books that are coming out this month that I'm really really excited for. This is hopefully going to be quite a quick video, I'm not going to go into like full summaries or anything because I'm losing my voice a little bit because I've been filming for a while and I have Covid so I sound a bit weird at the moment so I'm going to hopefully wrap this up quite quickly before I completely lose my voice. And we're going to start on the 2nd of April and we're starting with KD by Elle McNichol and this is the prequel to A Kind of Spark and I am so ridiculously excited for this one because I loved A Kind of Spark when I um, read it a couple of years back now. I really really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed Kidi as a character so I'm really excited to see what happens when she takes the centre stage and she's trying to deal with the bullying in her school. This kind of thing I cannot wait to read this one. It is currently in the post at time of filming and should hopefully um, have um, arrived and be actually read by the time um, this video goes up. Fingers crossed but I'm just very excited for this one. I cannot wait. There is also Darker by Four by June C. L. Tan. And this one is about a vengeful girl looking to avenge her mother's death. A hollow boy with no magic who is the black sheep of his family. And a missing god who works as a reaper for the fourth king of hell. The three of them end up tied up together when the um, hell god goes missing. And their powers swap. And now they have to find that missing god or all hell breaks loose quite literally. Which just sounds amazing as it is. But then this was also described as being for fans of this Savage Song and Shadow Hunters, Which are two series I really, really enjoy as well. So very, very excited for this one. It sounds really, really good. And I've seen it around. And everyone's been really raving about this book so definitely want to check this one out then there is the black girl survives in this one and this one is a horror anthology where the black girl is the one who slays the beasts and faces down death and generally survives and this one is featuring stories by people like ll mckinney desiree s evans charlotte nicole davies Brittany morris people like this i've admittedly only ever read ll mckinney and Brittany morris off this list but i'm always looking for more black authors to check out and this sounds really really good especially as i'm now getting into horror horror books and um, horror things at the moment. It just sounds absolutely amazing and I really, really want to read this one. Then there is only one thing on the ninth, and that is The Familiar by Lee Bardugo and this one is a historical fantasy set during the Spanish Golden Age where a scullery maid is discovered to have magic and gets drawn into the attempts to win the war while keeping herself alive. That's all I really know. That's all I really want to know. I just know I love um, Lee Bardugo's work so I'm just going to trust her on this one and I reckon I'm going to love it because I've loved everything else she's ever written before so this one is probably going to be another one I'm going to really enjoy. Then on the 16th there are two books. The first one is Paige Not Found by Jen Wilde and this one is all about Paige who is autistic and her parents have enrolled her in a study without her consent that can track her location and control her brain chemistry and now she's trying to find the others who were a part of this study and stop it going global when it attaches to a um, social media network which would then have um major problems for absolutely everybody because then everybody will be able to be controlled this kind of thing this is actually own voices for the autism rep and it just sounds really really interesting i clocked this one back in like december i think it was now and now i'm really excited for it coming out it sounds really good right up my alley and then the second one is smile and be a villain by Yves Donlon I apologize right now if I mispronounced that this is actually a Hamlet retelling where Ophelia has magic and Hamlet has no idea that she's got this magic and the two of them are torn apart during the war that's going on throughout the play this kind of thing and they have to decide how much are they willing to sacrifice to save Denmark now I'm not usually here for Shakespeare and Shakespeare retellings and things but I do love Hamlet I won't lie I do really enjoy Hamlet Hamlet and this sounds really interesting I love this magical take on the idea of Hamlet and seeing Ophelia maybe get her own agency and things instead of Ophelia very much just being affected by everyone around her and just being sort of pushed into position by her father by Hamlet by whoever this kind of thing and seeing her having uh, her own agency sounds really really interesting to me and this just sounds really fun to be honest I do love Hamlet and I do like the idea of taking a magical take on it so really want to try this one out. And then finally on the 30th there is To A Dark Shore by Leanne Schwartz and this one is about our protagonist who is poor, plus sized and also autistic 
and she is due to be sacrificed to the monster across the poison sea but then her best friend is sent instead and our um, protagonist goes on a mission to stop the sacrifices forever but instead what she finds is her best friend still alive but transformed into a monstrous being of their own and the two of them have to team up together to try and uncover what's actually happening and put a stop to it while also trying to not invoke the wrath of the gods and then also the monsters of this world which just sounds amazing i do not know if this is own voices for the autism rep but i definitely want to give a autistic protagonist in a fantasy story a go especially as there are monsters and gods and monstrous transformations and all of this kind of thing it sounds really interesting really fun and i really want to give it a go and that is everything coming out in april and now i'm gonna wrap this video up because i am rapidly losing my voice here so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give me a thumbs up comment down below tell me a book that you're really excited for releasing in april and to know or if you don't have that much time leave me a heart emoji down below to let me know that you're here i'll also leave a link as well down below to all my social media fun to check out including to the comic book sanctum which is my website dedicated to marvel comics as well as a link as well down below to my bookish etsy store that says bookish merch if you want to check that out or if you just want to see any more of my videos please click subscribe here and over here will be the link to my previous video but until next time everyone bye <laughs>